Okay, let's start the actual game. You joined Neo to fight the Ram Menace. You are being briefed in the Chicago org. Spaceport, yeah. It's the Borg addition to Chicago. Seems kinda stupid, but the one thing I'd really dislike about this game is the music, so Earth has been devastated during the 25th century, but now, thanks to you and thousands like you, we can begin to rebuild this planet. You are assigned to Salvation Station for salvage duty and march toward a waiting shuttle. This is uh, very much text-based in the sense that that's the most descriptive things. Uh, what does that mean? And here comes the explanation. Fighters scream in low from the north. Control towers collapse in balls of crimson flame. Your officers are down and the other recruits are fleeing. You have been thrusted headfirst into a raging battle. Yeah, ram forces are attacking. You can see the spaceship design is actually quite a I'm not sure what the right word for it is. Those uh, old sci-fi sci-fi flicks, very old uh, cigar shapes with laser turrets and things like that. Well, well, we'll be flying one later, so and encountering them, so we get a closer look. Okay, an officer collapsed collapsed here, wounded by shrapnel. He coughs weakly and motions to you close. He whispers, Missile controls! Enemy must have got automatics! Activate the defense! Ah! So... Find missile controls. Activate automatic defenses. He convulses once and lies still. Okay, what can... Your enemy troops have arrived, landed. You see monitors for the fueling tanks, they are all red line. The fuel stores have been struck in the attack. Yep. Everything looks pretty much the same, we have no map, so we have to read the text to understand what's going on. Two recruits were shot in the back as they tried to enter the building. Ambush. Terrines move in for the kill. Neo forces come to your aid. So, hostiles but allies. Okay, using leadership kill. So, if we have allies, but this mean this doesn't mean you get more allies. It means you can manually control your allies in combat. We didn't get to control all of them, but it allows tactical, tactical maneuvering. We'll take a look at the battlefield. Okay, three enemies, one leader, two warriors. So what we're gonna do... Okay, we're gonna move this guy. I can't move in, uh, in angles, because I'm playing with a keyboard, so... Uh, all, it's hard. I can move here because now I can press the right key down and press low so I can move. But usually I can't, so I have some limitations in what I can do. The reason why I'm trying to attack them from the behind, it won't work here. But once I've attacked, they will be having a facing and it's always towards the guy who attacked. So basically if I attack this Terran leader, it's going to be showing his back to uh, about a uh, dozen people and it will be easier to hit him, so I'm sacrificing one to get tactical advantage to others. Uh, yeah, To hit 35, rear attack. 
Let's see what Jillian can do. Yeah, that's a nice shot, still Jillian. We want to get rid of this leader as soon as possible. It's uh, much better than the standard warriors. And it has grenades. I think they're dazzle grenades. Yeah. So they make you blind. Yeah, blinded. It's hard enough to hit already, so if you get blinded. Again, we'll we'll try to surround them to so to, to ensure that someone gets to shoot at their backs, and since we're on the surrounding them, they won't be able to shoot us in the back. Move eight. I'm gonna go here and try to get kill someone. Yeah, John is going to move in and finish him. No, he sucks. It doesn't matter what happens to the allies at all. So they're free warriors you can use. I think Stillian Yeah, you missed. That's why you're a medic. Okay, who's who's this guy? A Neo Warrior. I was <laughs> I was for a moment I was wondering. Well, who did I pick to have this combat model? Okay, Nina. Show us what you got. Yeah, she handled it. And di 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 di. Not exactly as catchy. Uh, each character received 37 experience points and 170 credits. Flawless victory, and we get loot. We're not too. I. I don't. I'm not really a good grenade user. It's not that they aren't good. It's uh, the inventory system isn't the most com comfortable to use. We have three space suits and one smart suit. Four lasers, a cutlass, dental grenade. I think we all have space suits at the moment, so we'll be getting them smart suit. And we'll start with the Jillian, because we have to ensure these have the lowest hit point counts, but they're also critical to our mission. Huh? Jillian looks very fit, almost like a male model with a female head. Yep. At least the body is somewhat different shape. Definitely a professional, well-trained soldier. We'll be saving these unless we find better, because we can always sell them for money. Uh, we don't need... We need some money also to maintain our rocket, or spaceship, but uh, the thing is... It's handled by a different account, so our pocket change that 6170 credits isn't involved in that. A spaceship is handled by a proper spaceship account, so and you get money to it from doing different things. So your pocket change is not, isn't going to be enough to repair spaceships and buy missiles for it, like that. But we'll handle that when we get to that lecture hall. Let's take a look. An orderly is checking on a young man lying in a fetal position. Some of these kids can't take real war. I'll hold on here. You move out. Yeah, I think nothing can happen here. There might be... if you if you search every square, you might sometimes find something special, but usually there aren't anything. So the game will immediately tell you there's something of interest in the back of the room or something like that. Okay, south is the officer's lounge, west is the canteen. We'll visit canteen first. You are ambushed by terrorists. No help, this no... I 
I'm still in con yeah, I got used to the control mode from playing Dune, but this has a different control system scheme. So the button that Dune uses all the time has no real use in this warrior warrior. Okay, I can automatically cycle through opponents. This goes to the inventory. Yes, I see now. I see it. We'll move at least. We can hit them in the sides, if not in the back. It's still a bonus, so we'll take it. Jan can take it. I'm, I'm glad that we took damage. Now we can see the healing system. It's one of the weirdest systems I've had in any game, so... I think I, the first time I played this game I didn't think about taking a medic. I like some of the other team members so much. Uh, after a few battles I noticed that no, no healing is actually being done. Then found out that without the medic you, it's pretty much impossible to play the game. These two will hit them from the side, and these will hit them off. Jillian, yeah. Back off a bit. Yeah, there's one nice hit. John will finish things up here, I think. Oh, he doesn't. At least he hit. That's the important thing. Blade will finish things. Victory, yeah, breeding wounds. It it probably didn't show very well because we only took one point of damage, but it got healed. Basically, it uses a few seconds in time, and it'll move from um, from your current wounds to heal further during those few seconds at a steady pace. But because we only had one hit point to heal, it's happen and that was it. It will become obvious after a few fights because we will be taking a lot of damage. But I think both medics will have a chance to heal and that's why we have two. It's it's not a redundancy or a backup system. It actually helps us in ev every time we fight. I think I'll take the laser pistols too. We won't be fighting that much. And our inventory can take it. Okay, what about officers? Explosions have shattered the roof and the debris buried several bodies. Okay, anything else? I don't think so. Yep. No, what the hell is this other room? A neo officer lies among some brickies. I'm holding on here, but my lid is shattered. Saboteurs got the automatic defenses. East of here is a manual override system. Get over there and activate the missiles. Yeah, to the tip to the east. Women's room, yeah, the sick peak. <gasps> yeah, there was some pervert in there. You open the door into the muzzle of a Terran's pistol. He smiles and squeezes the trigger. And squeezes again. And again, and again. Yeah, lonely pervert in a toilet, women's toilet. It's a good thing we hunted him down. Yeah, easy job. These aren't supposed to. This game is actually very hard at times, so. This is more of a tutorial phase than anything else. This is a game that isn't afraid to get your whole team killed if you make a mistake, so I will be using save state actually. Yep. Because it's faster than having to look, go through the clumsy inventory and system and save. 
Okay, someone tossed a grenade into the room. The stalls are shattered and water coats the floor. The whine of lasers and boom of grenades echoes through the building, of course. Glad that there is a text to tell us these things, because I wouldn't have known what they were. Okay, this is a waiting room. Let's wait up here a while. Only the dead adorn this room. That's what happens when you wait around during battles. A lesson learned. Medical officer. The room is full of wounded troops, and orderly shouts, We're full in here! You're more views out there! She pushes you out the door. You hear an explosion. Okay. The blackened room holds no survivors. Obli obviously a terrain booby trap one of the wounded. You find some grenades that did not detonate. Yeah. Dark Dark World Explosive Grenades Hmm We're not gonna give anything to warriors. They're better using their specialized weapons. Maybe some of the support characters, not Myra. Yeah, well Isaac is their grenade guy. I don't think we'll be using them. They're very powerful weapons to have, especially if you're uh, outnumbered heavily. They will be also be used against you at times. Yeah. Terrans move in for the kill near forest. Yeah, these battles are random. That's why we'll get aid in these. Yeah, to control two soldiers. And that's all we got. Okay, we got ambushed and we're blinded. Shit. Try to get behind his back. We're unlikely to hit anything. Same with here. Warrior. Yeah, we'll take out the warrior first. Simply because he's much easier. No, no, no. Don't do this, what I was supposed to do. If you're near to someone, like here, don't show his, your pack on him. You're going to shoot someone in the back. Move in a position, so the nearest enemies won't be able to shoot you in the back in turn. And with these, we'll move a little bit closer and attack him. I think Chilean will go as backup, because he isn't blinded. He might actually kill someone. Can you kill him? No, you can't. You are blind, but you might still be able to hit him. Yeah. That, that's a proper warrior. Yeah, I'll put Nina in it as a backup here too. Because all the actual fighters are blinded. He's dead. And he's to the rescue. Out of sight. How do I end? God damn it. How do I cancel an action? I want to know. Ah. Yeah, our chances to hit are extremely low when you're blinded, which is to be expected. But still. Yeah, 25%. That's pretty crap. 35 side attack. Yeah. Wasn't that hard of a fight. These random encounters hardly are. The tough ones are usually... Yeah. Now we can see at least some of the healing. Treating wounds. If you don't have medics, you... That one or two points might be the only thing you'll ever heal. But with medics, that's... That actually will scroll out quite up quite fast. How fast you recover health. Okay, we'll take everything.
Authorized personnel only. Well, this is the only place left to check, so this has to be the mission control. Okay, you burst in amongst a squad of Terrans. In the background, you can see a ram technician working on a missile control panel. Yep. So this is our boss fight of this this part of the game. So a team in the back and a team in the front. What we want to do is make sure that the guys fighting here will be facing these. So I'll move, actually move this bit and fire. Important thing being that we don't expose our back to them. Luckily none, none of us get, got blinded. I'll reposition myself a bit and engage Julian as backup for John and Myra. I think Myra is a ballsy woman, so she'll work to flank our enemies, trying to position herself so that she can be flanked. Yeah, another. Back up for John. Yeah, she's good. Yeah, we're taking hits. We have to move quickly to clear out this place so we can focus on the guys at the back. Taking pretty bad hits. Yeah, I'm still not gonna move from this place. Okay, half of the team is blinded. Now I'm going to move. I can't move that much because I'm carrying a lot of stuff, so it slows me down. I think the yeah, we're doing fine here. The only question mark is how long can we keep those guys at our back from coming in because all we only have blind people there. Blinded people, it's not really the same as being blind. I'm pulling back with Isaac, he's lost over half his health. Blade will be holding his spot because he has to be provide a target so they don't attack Isaac. Tillian, no, I don't want to flee the battle. Tillian will move to flank these enemies. John won. He'll be finishing that Terran off. And Myra will again move to flank. Yeah, Blades is in trouble. We have to we have to run. He's almost dead. Isaac also has to run. Almost dead. We'll have to finish this guy quite fast. Side attack, yeah. That's some good work. We'll move these up front because they we have to present alternative targets to the Terrans. John has a lot of health, so he should be able to do it. Yeah, and now we're going to be moving to a flanking position again. We're in real trouble with the two guys. I think Jillian will come provide an extra target for them. Yeah, there really is nothing left here to do but just attack and until he has no hit points left. John is in trouble too, we'll have to increase our attacks on the Tehran leader. Yeah, 
yes. He should go down fairly quickly. Mira should be able to do it. If she would actually hit, yeah, 20, 45%, that should be good enough. Yeah. And now we should actually get a good idea of the healing. It should happen immediately after this. So some of our guys are almost dead. We have two only first level medics, so let's see how well we actually do. We recovered quite a bit. But you can see that if you do badly in battles, you will wear yourself out, so... You actually want to do some random encounters sometimes if you know you can handle them, because it allows you to heal again. But we're, we're in decent condition. The warriors have as much hit points as the non-wounded pilot and the so they're not suffering too badly. Space suits. Yeah, everything must go. With one hand, the technician begins firing at you. He is still modifying the controls with the other. If you shoot at him, you may damage the controls which operate the base's missiles. Okay, we have three options. Shoot him, but the game just told me you may damage the missiles, control systems, so it seems a very, very risky thing to do. Charge, that's a solid option, but he's certainly going to hit us or take cover. But so these are the game offers these kinds of choices. Usually I would say do whatever it has to do that you know will achieve the mission. How pain regardless of how painful it's going to be for you. That's likely the way to succeed. If you make a stupid choice like take cover, he'll destroy the controls and we're all gonna die. So we have to stop him. Shooting might be an option, but you saw how crappy we are at shooting at this point. I'm not sure, maybe some skill will affect it, but we're basically out of the school can't hit shit, so we'll charge. We'll take the damage as long as we stop him before he can do any damage. The technician fires wildly as you rush him. Yeah, you strike the technician down. The technician collapses. His blood licked lips curl in a smile. He hisses, if the missiles don't fire on Chicago, they won't fire at all. He grabs a grenade and pulls the pin. You can either dive on it or run for cover. Will anyone make the sacrifice? Okay. He'll destroy the controls if I don't dive for it. So, we'll just kind of pick a sacrifice. Who has the best chance to survive? There's, we have four equally good chances. I think Blade will do it because that's who he is. Or maybe not. John's might be too. He's a commander, he takes responsibility, he knows what has to be done. John is the man for this job. Yeah, takes 10 points of damage. John muffles the explosion. You set the missiles to anti-ship mode. Soon you hear the crunch of enemy spaceships crashing. Robbed of air superiority, the ram attack is quickly beaten back. You are congratulated and your wounds attended to. Yes. You gain team gains two thousand experience points. You are given a small reward, so I guess that's money. Ah has found thousand credits, uh, it's we Gained a loot window for the small reward. You are pre you are paraded to a newly arrived shuttle and ferried to Salvation Three. Uh, 
a new officer greets you. Oh yeah, he looks like a badass commander. I am Carlton Turabian. Welcome to Salvation 3. When you are ready, come see, come see me at headquarters for your first assignment. So, this is Salvation Station, clearly orbiting the Earth. This is the what? Hatchway leads to the rocket bay. Oh yeah. You hear wild music behind the door. Some kind of bar. Yeah, I think I'll end this one here. We did the first part. Countered our ram attack and are safely on orbit around Earth.